investor revolution talks a lot about the revolution that's occurring in investing. And I think revolution is a term that's used a lot, that's <laughs> used by marketing organizations. We have to go back to really what the definition of a revolution is. And we normally think of a revolution as being something brand new, uh, the early stage of a new idea. But actually, revolutions occur, occur at the maturity stage of a new technology. Uh, for example, um, everyone has access to computers, they have access to the internet, and they have access to file sharing. So someone got the idea that I'd like to get my music uh, free, choose what I want, get it when I want. Napster. So Napster wouldn't have been revolutionary had everyone not had access to use it. That revolutionized the industry. Obviously then uh, the music industry said, well, we can't do this. You're, you're stealing our music. So then they come up with iTunes and it begins to adapt. In investing, information and technology has changed. Before, it was very standardized. If you bought a mutual fund, there are a lot of people in, there's nothing customized about it. It was sales driven. There were products, they were sold. Wall Street created products, GM created cars. They had standalone stores where they sold the cars, standalone brokerage firms where they sell securities. The trend now is gonna be moving much more towards identifying experts that will not only coach people through what it is that they want and more importantly what they need, but then be able to have processes that are dynamic enough to take all of these tools that Wall Street have created and match those to this incredibly dynamic market environment. You know, each of the tools work in some environments and they fail in others. That's why we need a dynamic approach to manage that and then equally important, integrate in what the individual wants and needs. Well, I think uh, education obviously is important. That's why we're listening to this tape. Uh, I would uh, start reading. Um, my book, Investor Revolution, is, uh, uh, gives a good background in investing. There are a number of other good investment books. So I think get educated, um, begin to interview people in the industry. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, I think investing is almost like politics. You'll get a lot of different views and ideas. You've heard my views. I would suggest that you get some other views from other professionals. Um, as you invest, think about, uh, again, managing risk. Uh, there are a lot of people who made a lot of money in the late 90s and then gave it all back. In the book, we talked about some names that you, uh, you know, unless you've taken history, you may not remember, but uh, Jesse Livermore, Daniel Drew, Jim Fisk, people that were uh, stock manipulators that made millions and millions of dollars. And they all ended the same way. They're all broke. <laughs> some killed themselves. Some ended up in the insane asylum. I don't think this will happen to any of the people watching this tape. But we want to focus on lifelong success, not just speculative things that may or may not work. And even if you are successful, one, you have to reinvest the money, and it's only a matter of time till eventually you lose. Well, I, I like that thought, lifelong success and thinking long term rather than short term and, and uh, not worrying about how much, as Warren Buffett said, I'm not worried about uh, what the uh, stock did today, I'm worried about the value five years from yes. now. Yes. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Dan. Enjoyed it very much.